Shalom and thank you for joining us for another day where we look into God's word, meditate on his word and are encouraged even in times of our adversity. We have been going through a series on responses during our times of adversity and we've looked at and learning from Joseph's life um and today we are uh looking at how Joseph responded in faith as we continue meditating on how Joseph responded to faith we see another one of his responses which is how he responded to his afflictions in faith we may be in a a time of affliction because of somebody else today no fault of our own um we and sometimes when it's it isn't a fault of our own there is a tendency for us to protest and say it is unfair but yet we know even in the midst of these circumstances our responsibility is to be right and leave the consequences to god we saw yesterday that joseph was put into prison because of a false accusation by potiphar's wife and often if we were in that place i wonder if we would have responded with self pity it's easy to fall into self pity and feeling victimized especially when our affliction is caused by somebody else's selfishness or somebody else's manipulation but we see how joseph responded here he responded in faith knowing that god would turn around even these grimmest conditions for the greatest good so as the story goes we know that the chief jailer puts joseph in charge over the other prisoners so much so that he didn't have to worry about anything because joseph responded in faith by doing all that he was called to do we see his response from what is written in genesis chapter 39 verse 21 but the lord was with joseph and showed him mercy and he gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison so when we are in the midst of affliction how do we respond we have a choice either to walk in self pity or a choice to walk in faith our response is what will actually pave our way forward we know that the bible says that faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen god loves the language of faith when we place our trust in him so our response of faith in the midst of affliction brings in the favor of god joseph chose faith knowing that he had a dream to pursue and saw that god would, was the one who would bring that dream to fruition joseph's character was under construction as he was shaped by this adversity joseph again goes back to the way it started again goes through a time of bondage through years of being in prison but he knew he responded in faith knowing that god was in control and thus god gives him the favor with the jailer and the jailer entrusts him with many things under his authority how do we apply this in our times of affliction let's remember that when we respond in faith we will see god working in our midst and bringing us favor let's pray together heavenly father we pray that even through times of difficulties that you will give us the courage to respond in faith even when our situations look very grim very dark we pray like joseph did respond in faith lord and be sure and be aware of what you have called us to do even in those times thank you because you empower us by your spirit in jesus name we pray amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally 
For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.